So I'm going to demonstrate how to create a bar chart using the histogram tool on Excel. I'll be focusing on this column right here that's related to the accounts payable terms. And you'll notice that we don't have too many distinct values here. Let me just go to filter on the data tab, select the drop down here, and you'll notice the different values that we have within this variable. And so what I'll do is I want to get a, a frequency for each of these four different classes or categories. So 15 would be one category, 25 would be another category, etc. cetera. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the data analysis tool pack on my Excel. So this is something that you would want to do if you've never installed this before. I'm going to go to the file tab and I will select the, the options and then you have this Excel option screen that will appear. Go to add-ins and within add-ins underneath here you have a manage category with a drop down that says Excel add-ins. Click on that drop down and select the Excel add-ins which is by default this is what is selected. I'll go ahead and press go. And in this screen, what you'd want to do is select the analysis tool pack and the analysis tool pack VBA. So right now these are unchecked for me. So I'll go ahead and press a check mark. And when I press OK, you'll notice since I'm already at the data tab on the top right corner, I'll, I'll have some information related to this add in that I'm just including right now. So I'll press OK. So I have another section called analysis and here it's called data analysis here. And this is what I'm going to select to be able to create my histogram. So there are a whole bunch of data analysis that you can do with this add on feature. I'm going to select histogram and press OK. So for the input range, this is going to be the the series that I'm interested in, that column of data that I'm interested in. And then the bin range is going to represent the, the distinct values that are within the accounts payable terms. Um, now I didn't select my bin array, I, I can't select my bin range right now because I, I haven't created it just yet. So I know what my different bins are, which are 15, 25, 30, 45, I'm calling them categories. Um, I need to go ahead and, and jot those down in my spreadsheet. So let me go ahead and do so. Now, what I could do is select the entire series of data. I'll copy it over. I'll place it on A100. I'll paste it. And I want to remove my duplicates. So this is found under the data tab, data tools, and then select remove duplicates. And I'm going to press OK, remove duplicates. So what I'll do is I will go ahead and just put them in order here. It's just faster if I'll just type it. And I'll just copy it and paste it over. So I had, now again, this is gonna represent the bins portion in the data analysis tool. Uh, that I had up earlier. So let me go ahead and now go back to the data analysis. Select histogram, press OK. For the input range, it's going to be that range of data. Now, let me just exit off of this again. Instead of selecting the, the range of data, I could uh, give it a name range, right? So if I were to select all of those values, like I did here, I selected everything from H4 all the way down, and I'm going to give it the name months. I press enter here. Just to make sure, I will go to the formulas tab, name manager, and I want to just make sure that it selected everything. Yes, that looks good. I'll press close. And now I will go to the data tab, data analysis, histogram, press OK. And I'm going to type in months. And for the bin range, 
this is going to be this information that I have here. Now I could have also given the bin range a name. So, so everything from cell 15 down to 45. Um, I'm not selecting the labels, so I'm going to make sure that I don't have this check marked. And I want to place it in the same worksheet. So I'll say output range, put my cursor on this text box, select this arrow here, and I'll say place it somewhere around uh, here. And I'm going to press OK. And so this is what I end up getting from this data analysis tool feature. Uh, there's some information that I don't need. So this more category is not needed. I'm going to delete that. And I have a bin column that represents the AP terms, right? the accounts payable terms. So I could give it that label. Or I can just go ahead and include this frequency column that I generated right next to where I already have my categories here. And I'll just delete this information. Now I just hit the delete button and you'll notice that I have some lines from the table uh, that didn't disappear. And there are different ways to format this, but I like to use the uh, this format painter where I'll just select any normal cell, any blank normal cell, click on format painter and I want to format these cells back to normal. That takes care of that format. Now notice the difference here between how these headers are formatted and I want frequency to look like how I have this format for AP terms months. So I'll place my active cell on that and select format painter. Make sure it's highlighted and then I'll just place my active cell, my cursor on this active cell where it says frequency. And now I have a similar format. Now I also want to format these values. They don't look like these values here. So I'll select those, Format Painter, and brush these. So now it looks a lot better. And now that I have my frequency distribution table, I can also do my relative frequency. And I'll format it the same way. And I'm going to use that formula where you get the frequency for that category and then you divide it by the total sum of frequencies in your frequency distribution table. Because I'm going to also get the relative frequencies for the rest of these four classes that I have here, I'm going to get the absolute address, hit enter, then I will format to just four decimal places. And then I'll just bring this down over right here. If I sum this up, that's equal one. Sum this up, equal 94. So it all looks good. I'll hit total and I'll, I'll do a right align on that and bold it so I know exactly what that last class represents here. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to use the data analysis tool add-in feature. And this is going to be very handy for the subsequent topics that we'll be discussing. If I wanted to visual off of this, so let's say I want the AP terms values and I also want my proportion data. And I'll go to inserts I'll select recommended charts and see what's out there. So I'll, I want to go ahead and display a horizontal bar chart. So I'll select that one, press OK, and I have a visual that looks like this. Now, I would want to rename this visual so I know exactly what this represents. Let's say this is the proportion of... Now I have a data visualization along with my frequency distribution.